Hi, my name is Aaron Brothers and I'm the Director of Music Ministry at Dixon United Methodist Church. Happy New Year! I don't think I'm alone in celebrating that 2020 is over. Usually I feel like a new year is more of a transition from a fairly decent or even really good year to the hope for a great year to come. But not this year. Personally, I will look back on 2020 with anger, grief, and confusion. Recently, I told a friend I was ready to move on to a new year and that I would not be sad to see the old one go. I was told, but there were many blessings too. Focus on those. I'm sure there are those out there who are able to count their blessings to help them deal with and move out of a season of pain. I'm also positive that there are people like me who really want that to be true, who would love to be able to move forward but are still finding the emotional tools to do so. While I know my friend was trying to help me, it mostly made me feel guilty and ungrateful. There were blessings, several in fact, for me and our country and the world in the year 2020. Social justice movements, scientific advances, new babies, Zoom. But there were tragedies, deep wounds for many people, economic unrest and instability, undeniable loss. To focus only on our blessings ignores and invalidates legitimate feelings of anxiety, pain, sadness, and rage. Of course, to wallow too long is wholly unhealthy, but so is suppressing those feelings and moving on. I'll look back at 2020 as the year my cousin died, a year in which a young man with decades of promise lying ahead went to be with God instead. In 2020, I cried myself to sleep more often than I'd cared to admit, and worried myself awake more often than I'd care to remember. But I refuse to feel guilty for it. The Book of Lamentations sings to people like me in times like these. A collection of five poems of lament written after the fall of Jerusalem, they speak honestly of a time of grief, loss, and a feeling of separation from the Jewish homeland, and therefore God as well. In Lamentations 3, verses 17 through 24, the author says this, I've rejected peace, I've forgotten what is good. I thought my future is gone as well as my hope from the Lord. The memory of my suffering and homelessness is bitterness and poison. I can't help but remember and am depressed. I call all this to mind, therefore I will wait. Certainly the faithful love of the Lord hasn't ended. Certainly God's compassion isn't through. They are renewed every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I think... The Lord is my portion, therefore I'll wait for the Lord. Full of feeling, no pulling punches, honest and heartfelt loss, but also looking forward with hope. Instead of feeling obligated to lift my spirits about the past, I wish my friend had simply said, I'm with you, 2020 was rough. We'll see what God has in store for 2021 and hope for something better. Hope. That is really what 2020 left me, because holy moly, Pandora's box has never felt more real than this past year. So I'll wait for the Lord. I will look back at 2020, and sometimes it will be to see the blessings, but I honestly think it will most often be sad. I know I have a lot of work to do myself to make sure I don't remain negative. Gracefully, God's compassion isn't through, and though I may not feel it this day, or the next, or even the day after that. God is love. The Lord is my portion. God's faith is renewed. And I will wait.